Hallo, willkommen zurück. Jetzt sprechen wir über Präpositionen. Präpositionen sind ganz, ganz wichtig in der Sprache, in der deutschen Sprache. Deswegen müssen wir uns damit jetzt beschäftigen. You're welcome to the class again. I, today we are going to talk about preposition. And preposition is very, very important in the language, in the German language. And that's why we have to occupy ourselves with these prepositions. And we're going to start with a reminder. We have what we call part of speech. And preposition is also a part of speech. We have verb, noun, adjective, adverb, and all that. But then preposition is also a part of speech, which is also very important uh, in the German language. Now, how, what does, uh, how do we describe prepositions? These prepositions, how do we describe them? Actually, prepositions describes the relationship that is existing between people or things. Relationship that is existing between people or things. And I have um, an example to start with here. Wir treffen uns ta 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 der Schule. Here we have uns we and then we have Schule. So we see there is something happening between we and Schule. So that relationship, that relationship is what preposition describes. That is relationship between people and relationship between things. So that example, via treffen uns, I will just give one or two um, prepositions to illustrate. Inter der Schule. We are meeting ourselves behind the school. We are treffen uns hinter der Schule. Of course, it could also be we are treffen uns vor der Schule. It can also mean we are treffen uns vor der Schule. Is still talking about relationship? Yeah? We and the Schule, and then we meet behind, inter, for, in front. It can also be, we are treffen uns neben, neben die Schule. So we see preposition, prepositions are good to describe, in describing or by describing, the, where you use them to describe the relationship between people and uh, or things. Then we need to understand that in German preposition, German prepositions can be described, can be grouped into three parts. And I will just call this one A, remember I said three parts, and then B, and then C. So we have these three classification of prepositions in German. What's their difference? What makes the difference? Why are they different one from the other? We have on the, this side, the A group, we have the following preposition. We're going to explain why they're different, but let's talk about them first. And I'm going to pronounce it, then you pronounce it after me. Um. Um. Ohne. Ohne. Gegen. Gegen. Für. Für. Dusch, dusch, bis, bis. Wonderful. That is, those are the uh, prepositions that fall within the first category. Then category B. Über, über, in, in, auf, auf, an, an. For, for, unter, unter, 
hinter, hinter, neben, neben, zwischen, zwischen, zwischen. That's for category B. Now we go to the last category. By, by, aus, aus, nach, nach, mit, mit, ab, ab, zu, zu, hause, hause, von, von, seit, seit. This is very interesting. Gegenüber. Gegenüber. Hmm? You enjoy it. Gegenüber. Okay. So, those are the prepositions that we have in German. What we are going to do now, we are going to give examples how each of these prepositions are functioning. We will give at least a sentence for each of the prepositions to help us understand their usage better. And after that, we will be able to make use of them ourselves. So, we go to that now. And uh, before we go on to that, we see that group A, there's accusative written on it. These, whenever these uh, prepositions are used, I will say it this way, they command accusative case, accusative case. We're going to talk about that. And then, when any of this one is used, actually, let me say it this way, the first group commands accusative, the third group commands dative, and the second group is actually, I mean, it commands the two. That's why we see this one is a part of this, a part of this. So this one commands both accusative and dative. It commands both accusative and dative. And that's why we call it vexel prepositione. Vexel prepositione. Vexel Prepositionnel. The meaning is that sometimes it commands accusative, sometimes it commands dative. We are going to explain all that so that we see when and how are these prepositions used. Okay, so we go straight on to the examples of how these prepositions come up, how they are used in sentences. Bleib dran.